well, there's the trailer you can see. It's actually on a bit of a ramp, uh, so I'm not really going to have that ramp in real life on circuits. So we really need to try and load this on the flat so we can do it every time. So I'm going to move the trailer up to the car um, and then try and load it. The diffuser's off the back, so it should go on. Uh, fairly easily and then we need to work out how to get it off again with the diffuser attached or what modifications we need to make uh, the diffuser for it to work. You can see I'm using some blocks to hold the trailer up. That could easily slip off so I'm uh, cutting some wood up here so I've got a bigger flat platform. So that's on the trailer. I could probably chop these bits off and pull it on another inch or so. But um, yeah, maybe another inch or two. Um, but not much more than that. But the end is still going to poke out a bit, but there's not much we can do about that. Especially with the bodywork on, because that's where the bodywork's going to connect to. And there's the end of the bodywork, so it's still going to come out another sort of six inches from there. So, it is going to stick out a bit. It will cover the light bar because it will sit on the bottom. So, yeah, maybe this trailer wasn't the best purchase in hindsight. I suppose the next question is, can we get the diffuser on? And how much do we have to chop off to actually get the car on and off without too much hassle? Uh, looks like I've identified a leak that appears to be coming from the brake caliper. I would say that the middle of that wheel to the back of the trailer is about 13 inches, so... If we take 13 inches here and measure a straight line to the bottom of the diffuser like that, that should be the amount that we need to chop off to actually uh, get the car on and off the trailer. So that's aluminium honeycomb underneath. If anyone's got any good ideas on how to fill in those sharp edges, I'd be all ears. Okay, so I'm gonna roll the car off the trailer, pop the diffuser on, and then try and put the car on the trailer with the diffuser attached. Well, this is just typical of when you uh, pick up someone else's design. You can see this here, I've had to bend it up uh, and chop this bit of thread off because it no longer fits fits into here so I've had to shorten it and bend it up hopefully when this axle moves it's not going to clash with it but I'm concerned that it will right let's see if this goes back on the trailer well it's hard to see but uh, probably chopped a bit too much off. But it's going on. So the next challenge now is to see if the light bar fits. Well, that light bar, you can see at the bottom, isn't gonna fit on the trailer, with the, even with the modified diffuser. So I think I'm gonna tackle that tomorrow, but I'll probably move it up to the top um, so it can stay there. Um, but it does mean I won't be able to use the trailer cover. Well, at least the car gets on and off the trailer now um, without removing the diffuser, so we can do a track day um, once we've sorted out the light bar.